okay now we've got section 3 in section 3 usually we have multiple choice questions but if you are lucky you can find one word only in section 3 as well otherwise multiple choice questions single multiple choice questions or double and along with that we have matching type of questions so luckily we do have matching but along with matching we got uh, one word only uh, one word only presentation on film adaptations of Shakespeare's play. Now listen, film adaptation means they converted Shakespeare's plays into a movie. You might have heard about Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. So that is the adaptation of Shakespeare's play. So play converted into a movie is what we call adaptation. Okay, now there's a presentation on that and we have a table. Whenever there is a table, you got to see the columns in the table. Number one. Number two, what do they represent? The first column is stages of presentation. Stages of presentation. And the second column is work still to be done. Now what is going to happen? A group of students will talk about the stages of their presentation and what work still to be done about their presentation okay now let's see introduce a Genety book now Genety is the name book containing a dash adaptations now listen whenever you've got this sentence completion in IELTS listening part 3 or part 4 you must focus what is written before or what is written after now will you please come to this word book containing a dash of adaptations book containing a now a book that contains a dash of adaptations and adaptations you know plays converted into movies so let's see what do they say about it you will hear two students katie and joe discussing a presentation in their film studies course joe you know I'm giving a presentation in our film studies class next week? Yes. Well, could we discuss it? I could do with getting someone else's opinion. Of course, Katie. What are you going to talk about? It's about film adaptations of Shakespeare's plays. I've got very interested in all the different approaches that film directors take. Uh-huh. So I thought I'd start with Janetti who's a professor of film and literature. And in one of his books, he came up with a straightforward classification of film adaptations based on how faithful they are to the original plays and novels. Right. Classification. Well done. For containing, they use the word came up with. Came up with classification of film adaptations right i play this part again in actual exam they will not repeat the audio in actual exam they will not play the audio question by question i'm just teaching you that's why i'm doing it you will hear too interested in all the different approaches that film directors take uh-huh so i thought i'd start with janetti now when they say the word janetti it means now your answer is going to come Janetti. So you should uh, underline a word like this, which will tell you, which will give you a, a, an alert that answer is going to come. Who's a professor of film and literature. And in one of his books, he came up with a straightforward classification of film adaptations. He came up with a classification of film adaptations. So classification will be the right answer. Okay, see that this is also sentence completion. In part one, we also have sentence completion, but both are different in nature. Now, over here, they are testing your advanced English. There, they test your basic English, numbers and all that. Okay, question number 22. Ask class to suggest the dash adaptations. Now, listen. Suggest the dash adaptations. Dash adaptations being the type of adaptations for example ask class to suggest for ask class to suggest they can use the word you can ask the students to come up with come up with means to suggest right and the type of adaptation and you know adaptation is what a play turned into a movie so come up with 
what type of adaptation I thought that next I'd ask the class to come up with the worst examples of Shakespeare adaptations that they've seen and to say why worst exactly the worst and by the way the word the is another good sign you know worst is the third degree of adjective and with this we always use the the best the worst right so worst adaptation please listen to this again i thought that next i'd ask the class to come up with the worst examples of shakespeare adaptations that i will ask the class to come up with the worst examples of shakespeare's adaptations now they just added the word examples of shakespeare and then there is the word adaptations so answer is worst and what is worst no what does it mean it means extremely bad extremely bad okay all right now next question is present rachel malco's ideas prepare some now prepare they are going to change this word and some tells us answer is going to be plural prepare some handouts prepare some notes some doesn't come with singular it will come with plural so the first thing is answer should be plural second for prepare focus the word make if they say make some notes what is the answer notes very simple okay let's see next i want to talk about rachel malco i came across something on the internet about her work on film adaptations and i was thinking of showing some film clips to illustrate her ideas will you have enough time though both to prepare and during the presentation After all, I doubt if you'll be able to find all the clips you want. Mm, perhaps you're right. Okay, well, I better do Okay, what is the answer? Excellent answer ji aaya hi nahi. Ye pehle hi taiyar baithe. See, ye ye bimari ka ilaj nahi hai iska. Answer aane to dein pehle. Wait for the answer, then you say I I let's. Yeah, I Canada. Direct. Presentation. After all, I doubt if you'll be able to find all the clips you want. I doubt you'll be able to find all the clips you want. I doubt. Clips nahi milenge. So why clips is the right answer? Wait. Mm, perhaps. Mm, now what does she say after that? After all, I doubt if you'll be able to find all the clips you want. Mm, perhaps you're right. Okay, well, I'd better do some slides instead. say see that i better do some slides slide. and those who have written the wrong answer then they are they're tuned out they've written the answer and then okay next question okay i read the next question okay so be careful you got to wait till the end and then find the right answer and wrong answer will never fit there <laughs> question number 24 discuss relationship between adaptations and dash now they're going to compare the relationship between adaptations and another type of thing right at the time of making the film at the time of making the film so what is that next i want to say something about how plays may be chosen for adaptation because they're concerned with issues of the time when the film is made you mean things like patriotism or the role of government exactly Uh huh. Patriotism, very good. Because I found it, right? How do you write adaptations and patriotism? The correct answer is issues. Listen. Next, I want to say something about how plays may be chosen for adaptation because they're concerned with issues of the time when the film is. Okay, they're concerned with issues of the time when film is made. Issues at the time of making. films listen again because they're concerned with issues of the time when the film is made issues of time when the film is made it shows at the time of making the film making the film film is made all right correct answer is issues 
Okay, now we have matching in part three. There are options in comments and you got to match them with films, right? So whenever you come across such type of questions, you have to see where is the information. If you look at questions 25 to 30, they are the names of movies. So if you read all these names, will you get any information? No. So never read the names of books, names of movies, parts of presentation, names of cities and all that. You should always read where there is the information, comments. So when they give you 30 seconds to read the questions, you will read comments. And how will you read the comments? You will read the comments underlining a word and then considering what can be the synonym of this word. What can be the synonym or what can be the other word for this i give you an example option a clearly shows the historical period for historical period they may use the word how life was at that time how life was at that time that means historical period option b contains only parts of the play now listen contains only parts of the play play means drama right parts of the play so for parts of the play they may use the word it includes few scenes from the real play it includes few scenes now few scenes means parts of the play option c similar to another kind of film now when they say similar to another kind of film they might use the word it's typical romantic movie it's a typical romantic. When we use the word typical, it means it is like other movies. It's a typical romantic movie. You know, in romantic movies, what happens? At the end, they meet and all that. Okay, so it's a typical romantic movie means another kind of film. Option D, turned out to be unpopular with audience. For that, they use the word the audience didn't like it. The audience didn't take interest. People didn't watch it as we are talking about films and dramas and all that. Option E presents the play in a different period from the original. Now, if they say original play was filmed in 18th century, but this is filmed in 19th century. So what is that? Presents the play in a different period. Now, what is different period? 18th century and 19th century. F sets the orig original in a different country. For example, sets the original in a different country. For example, instead of using Germany, they used France. Means different country. For example, if they say the original novel was written about France, but in the movie they changed the country to uh, Germany or any other country, right? It's like that. You know, this is listening part three, advanced level English. So try to understand. You cannot refuse by saying, eh, I don't understand anything. It means your English has come to an end. If you don't understand, still you need to try. And IELTS listening is the best way to learn. Part 1 will prepare you for part 2. Part 2 will prepare you for part 3. And part 3 will prepare you for part 4. And all listening will prepare you for speaking. So you need to take interest. Okay, don't worry. Option G incorporates a variety of art forms. Now listen, look here. Variety of art forms. Dance, music drama or any other art form variety of art forms so they will talk about them okay now i'll play the audio one by one and you will understand and as you practice i mean how did i learn nobody ever taught me ielts i learned by practicing okay so you can do it if i can do it anyone can do it now let's start question number 25 and please don't tell me the answer until the audio finishes right yeah and finally I want to talk about a few adaptations that I think illustrate a range of approaches and make some comments on them. Do you know the Japanese film Ran? I haven't seen it. It was based on Shakespeare's King Leo, wasn't it? That's right. It was a very loose adaptation, using the same situation and story, but moving it to 16th century Japan instead of 16th century Britain. So, for example, the king's daughters become sons because in Japanese culture at that time, women couldn't succeed to the throne. 
OK. E. Okay, listen, listen. Those who selected E, let me tell you, presents the play in a different period from the original. She said 16th century Japan and 16th century England. So is it a different period? No. What is different? Country is different. So this is option F. Well done. Please listen to this again. And finally, I want to talk about a few adaptations that... I think illustrate a range of approaches and make some comments on them. Do you know the Japanese film Ran? I haven't seen it. It was based on Shakespeare's King Leo, wasn't it? That's right. It was a very loose adaptation, using the same situation and story, but moving it to 16th century Japan instead of 16th century Britain. Okay, 16th century Japan instead of 16th century Britain. So century is same. Question number 26, much ado about nothing. Let's see what they say about. And these are the names of the movies. I hope you're going to talk about the 1993 film of Much Ado About Nothing. I think that's one of the best Shakespeare films. It really brings the play to life, doesn't it? Yes, I agree. And I think filming it in Italy, where the play is set, makes you see what life was like at the time of the play. Absolutely. How life was like at the time of the play. Option A. Yes, exactly. How life was like at the time of play. So option A clearly shows the historical period. How the life was like at the time of the play clearly shows historical period. Why not E? Okay, E is presents the play in a different period from the original. They didn't mention original period from the original. It will come. Don't worry. E will come as well. Question number 27. Right. What's next? Uh, next, I thought Romeo and Juliet, the 1996 film, which moves the action into the present day. Yes, it worked really well, I thought. Changing the two feuding families in the original to two competing business empires, even though they're speaking in the English of the original play. You'd expect it would sound really bizarre, but I found I soon got used to it. Me too. Why he presents the play in a different period from original and what was original 1996 movie please focus this again right what's next uh next i thought romeo and juliet the 1996 film which moves the action into the present day 1996 film which moves the action into present day so that is option e presents the play in a different period from the original what is different period moves the action into present day that is different period and original is 1996 okay question number 28 hamlet then i thought i'd include a real hollywood film one that's intended to appeal to a mass commercial audience. There must be quite a number of those. Yes, but I've picked the 1996 film of Hamlet. It included every line of the text, but it's more like a typical action hero movie. There are loads of special effects, but no unifying interpretation. All right, action, typical action hero movie. So what is that option? C, too similar to another kind of film. And what is that another kind of film? Action hero movie. Question number 29, uh, Prospero's book. Then there's Prospero's books based on The Tempest. That was really innovative from a stylistic point of view. Didn't it include dance and singing and animation as well as live actors? Yes, it did. Okay, dance and action and singing and live actors, that is variety of... And I tell you, if you guys practice, these things will repeat. Right? These things, these, this rewording, these synonyms, they will repeat. 
So that is why try to solve at least two listening tests a day so that you upgrade yourselves and after 40 days you'll be ready. Okay? You say I don't have time. Then leave it, huh? <laughs> Question number 30. Looking for Richard. I also want to mention looking for Richard. Did you ever see it? No, but I've read about it. It was a blend of a documentary with a few scenes from Richard III, wasn't it? That's right. It's more a way of looking into how... Few scenes from Richard I. Few scenes. What does that mean? Contains only parts of the play. Few scenes and parts of the play. So answer is B. So every time, whenever you solve questions, you need to understand. And even if you have mistakes, you need to know what sort of mistakes you are doing. Okay, guys, let's move on. We have IELTS listening part three. And the heart of part three is multiple choice questions. Many students find part one and two very comfortable, very easy. And part four even. The other day a student told me part one, I get 10 out of 10. Part four, I, I get usually eight or nine out of 10. It's part three that's troubling me. And what is the trouble in part three? Multiple choice questions. And no, there is no map in part three. Map is only for part two. In part three, we have three type of questions, mainly uh, the questions that really trouble you. The first one is multiple choice, single multiple choice. The second one is double multiple choice, where out of five you select two. And the third one is matching. Okay, and if you are lucky, in part three also you will get sentence completion. There are some tests of Cambridge IELTS books and in part three, they have given sentence completion too. Anyways, multiple choice questions. Now, what's the, pro what's the thing? They check your ability to differentiate right from wrong. They will give you three pieces of information. Out of three pieces of information, one is right, two are wrong. So if you identify those two right, wrong pieces of information, you will become expert in multiple choice questions. And if you cannot differentiate between right and wrong, you listen to a word and you say that is the right answer, then you will always be confused. And whenever you are a little confused in multiple choice, at the end you guess. Because you want to get out of confusion. Right? You listen to the audio, A. Then you listen to the second question and you don't know what to do. And then any word you pick up from the audio word, not idea. Then you say, okay, second one is B, third one is C, first one is this and that. Now let's see. Uh, I'm going to tell you all these things in detail. And uh, let's focus. Let's not focus the right answer. This time we will focus the wrong, wrong options, the wrong choices. Because that is the game. That is what confuses us. Whenever you write wrong answer, for example, uh, your answer is wrong, it means you pick the wrong choice. But they sugarcoat those choices and you start thinking this is the right one. So I'll tell you why it is the wrong and all that. Paul decided to get work experience in South America because he wanted. He means Paul wanted. Now he decided to get work experience in uh, South America. He wanted to teach English. Underline teach English. Okay, so he decided to get work experience in South America because he wanted to teach English. Option B, improve his Spanish. If he says, uh, okay, I tell you how to speak about wrong options after this. And C, learn about Latin American life. Now, if he says, although I had good experience of teaching English, that was not my main aim of going to South America. Then A will be the right answer? No. If he says, I could already speak, uh, I could already speak Spanish fluently before going to South America, then can B be the right answer? No. So you just need to listen carefully. And by the way, these three options will not be discussed in order. The first thing is your pencil is going to be in the air. First pencil will be in the air. And you are just trying to see if they speak, if they use the word English, go to option A. If they use the word Latin American lifestyle, come to option C. And then... By the end, when they finish their conversation about that option, you should have decided tick or cross. cross. So if you do tick and cross, tick and cross, see that, for example, you couldn't find the right answer. But two wrong options you eliminated. You crossed two wrong options. So the one that is left will be the right answer. Okay, let's start. Section 3. You will hear a university tutor and a new student called Paul discussing Paul's work experience 
and Latin American Studies course. I've been reading your personal statement, Paul. First, let's talk about your work experience in South America. What took you there? Was it to gain more fluency in Spanish? Well, as I'm combining Spanish with Latin American studies, my main idea was to find out more about the way people lived there. My spoken Spanish was already pretty good, in fact.、Mm, so you weren't too worried about language barriers? No. In fact, I ended up teaching English there, although that wasn't my original choice of work. I see. Okay. A. A. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. See there. I mean, they usually do this thing at the end. They will give you something, and you say, "Okay, A is the right answer." Now, please write a code. B C A. B C A. Right now, just focus. I'm playing it. Section three. Section three. You will hear a university tutor and a new student called Paul. Discussing Paul's work experience and Latin American studies course. I've been reading your personal statement, Paul. First, let's talk about your work experience in South America. What took you there? Was it to gain more fluency in Spanish? Was it to gain more fluency in Spanish? Now remember, in multiple choice questions in the audio, whenever there is a question, if the answer to the question is yes. That is the right answer. If the answer to the question is no, then that is just the elimination, right? Was it to gain more fluency in Spanish? And what does Paul say? Well, as I'm combining Spanish with Latin, well, as I'm so well as I'm, it means it wasn't that. I'm combining Spanish with Latin American studies. My main idea was to find out more about the way people lived there. Okay, my main idea was to find out more about how people lived there, and that is Latin American. Life. Okay, so C is the right answer. Now, why A is wrong? My spoken Spanish was already pretty good. In my spoken Spanish was already pretty good, so it means B is not the right answer. But、oh, come on. Combining Spanish with Latin American studies, my main idea was to find out more about the way people lived there. My spoken Spanish was already pretty good, in fact.、Mm, so you weren't too worried about language barriers. No. In fact, I ended up teaching English there. I ended up teaching English there. Although, whenever they use the word "although" after one option, even that is wrong. Listen again, this one. Pretty good, in fact.、Mm, so you weren't too worried about language barriers. No. In fact, I ended up teaching English there. Although that wasn't my original choice of work. I see. Okay. Although that was not my original choice at work, I ended up teaching. Although, whenever they use the word "although," whenever they use the word "we con we considered," whenever they use the word "we had thought," we'd expected. After that, usually the wrong options. Yeah. Is it code word CBA? Sorry. Yeah, the code is B C A. Yeah, yeah, they talk about improved Spanish later on, so it can be that. Yeah, but this code will not apply on every multiple choice question. Okay, it's different for every. Okay, what project work did Paul? You know, Paul in local language you can call it Pola. You know, Pola is very yeah. Oh, Pola, kithe chalne like that. So, what project work did Paul originally? Whenever they use the word originally in multiple choice question, for that they use mainly. My main aim was so. What work?、Uh, sorry, what work, project work did Paul originally intend to get involved in? Originally, get involved in means he wanted to do that. He did something else, but originally he wanted to do that: construction, agriculture, tourism. Now, just focus originally. For that, I'll say my main aim was to get involved in. I actually wanted to get involved in, but there was no opportunity. That's why I had to work in agriculture field. Will agriculture be the right answer? No. Okay. Let's see. How did you find out about all this? I found an agency that runs all kinds of voluntary projects in South America. What kind of work? Well, there were several possibilities. You mean construction, engineering work? Yes, getting involved in building projects was an option. Then there was tourism, taking tourists for walks around the volcanoes, which I actually chose to do. And then there was work with local farmers,、hmm. which I actually chose to do. So, what project work did Paul originally intend to get involved in? Which actually I chose to do, and that is tourism. And the the、uh, options go like A, C, B. Please listen again. How did you find out about all this? I found an agency that runs all kinds of voluntary projects in South America.
What kind of work? Well, there were several possibilities. You mean construction, engineering work? Okay, there were several possibilities. You mean construction, engineering work? Yes, getting involved in building projects was an option. Was an option, but he's not talking about it. Paul original in, originally intend. Tourists for walks around the... And there was tourism, taking tourists for walks around the volcanoes, which I actually chose to do. And then there was work with local farmers. Mm. Okay, which I actually chose to do. Tourism, which I actually chose to do. And then there was work with farmers in agriculture. Clear? Yes. Yeah. And I tell you one thing. These things will repeat in multiple choice questions. Right? Once you solve 8 to 10 listening tests with at least... 50 to 60 multiple choice questions, then you realize these things are repeated. Okay, let's go on. Question number 23. Why did Paul change from one project to another? This multiple choice is all about reason. Why did Paul change from one project to another? His first job was not well organized. Underline not well organized. First job not well organized. He found doing the routine work very boring. Underline routine work very boring. Focus boring. In part A, focus not well organized. And C, work was too physically demanding. Underline physically demanding. So why did Paul change from one project to another? Reason. Reason number C is physically demanding. Reason number B is boring. Reason number A is not well organized. Okay, now let's see. But you didn't continue with that project. Why not? Because I never really knew whether I'd be needed or not. I'd thought it might be difficult physically, but I was certainly fit enough. Now, I wanted to do something that had more of a proper structure to it, I suppose. I get demotivated otherwise. Uh, okay, I wanted something that, had, that, has, that was more structured. More structured means... Yeah, organized. So why did Paul change? Now, when you are expecting something should be organized and that thing is not actually organized. Please listen again. This time again, they played well. But you didn't continue with that project. Why not? Because I never really knew whether I'd be needed or not. I'd thought it might be difficult physically, but I was certainly fit enough. Okay, I thought it would be difficult physically, but I was certainly fit enough. C is not the right answer. Now, I wanted to do something that had more of a proper structure to it, I suppose. I wanted to do something that had more of a structure and all that. I get demotivated otherwise. I get demotivated otherwise. So, his first job was not well organized. That's why he left it. And by the way, option B has not been discussed. Yeah. Let's go on. Question number 24. In the village community, he learned how important it was to... This multiple choice question is incomplete sentence. Some multiple choice questions are reasons. Some are decisions. Some are agreement. Okay, but this one is incomplete sentence. In the village community, he learned how important it was to... Respect family life. Very simple. Develop trust. Use money wisely. So, he learned how important it was. Now, what he knew already will not be the answer. What he did not learn will not be the answer. What he actually learned, that will be the answer. And there are only three options. Respect family life, develop trust, and use money wisely. What do you think you learned from your experience? It must have been a great opportunity to examine community life. Yes, but it was difficult at first to be accepted by the locals. It was a very remote village, and some of them were reluctant to speak to me. Although they were always interested in my clothes and how much I had to pay for them. Well, that's understandable. Yes, but things soon improved. What struck me was that when people became more comfortable with me and less suspicious, we really connected with each other in a meaningful way. You made good friends? Yes, with two of the families in particular. Good. Option? No, it's A. Good, well done. Excellent, excellent. C. No, no way. Way Punjabi wala. Na way. Correct answer is option B, develop trust. And for that, the use of word became more comfortable. When you become more comfortable with someone, that means you develop trust. And now I play the audio and I tell you why C and A are wrong answer. He learned how important it was. 
What do you think you learned from your experience? It must have been a great opportunity to examine community life. Yes, but it was difficult at first to be accepted by the locals. It was a very remote village, and some of them were reluctant to speak to me. Although they were always interested in my clothes and how much I had to pay for them. Okay, they were interested in my clothes and how much I have to pay for them. Use money wisely? No. They were simply interested in how much I have to pay for them. Well, that's understandable. Yes, but things soon improved. What struck me was that when people became more comfortable with me and less suspicious, we okay. People became more comfortable with me and less suspicious. When you are less suspicious, you develop trust. Okay. Really connected with each other in a meaningful way. You made good friends. Yes, with two of the families in particular. You good. made good friends with two of the families. So he made good friends with two of the families. It's not respect family life. He made friendship with two families. Understand the difference? Okay, let's go on. Question number twenty-five. What does Paul say about his project manager? Now he will talk about his project manager, his opinion about project manager. He let Paul do most of the work. Means he allowed me to do most of the activities. His plans were too ambitious. What do they mean by his? His means project manager. So his plans were too ambitious. Means the project manager's plans were too ambitious. See, he was very supportive of Paul. So project manager was supportive. Option A, uh, do most of the work. Allow him or let do most of the work. Option B, too ambitious. Option C, very supportive. So what does Paul say about his project manager? What about management? Did you have a project manager? Yes, and he gave me lots of advice and guidance. And was he good at managing too? That wasn't his strong point. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was often more interested in the academic side of things than filing reports. He was a bit of a dreamer. Uh. All right. B is his plans were too ambitious. No, he was a bit of a dreamer. A bit, not too ambitious. Okay. Correct answer is C. He was very supportive. For supportive, they use the word advice and guidance. How many of you wrote C as the right answer? All right. I'll play it again for you. What about management? Did you have a project manager? Yes, and he gave me lots of advice and guidance. He gave me a lot of advice and guidance. So he was very supportive of Paul. He gave me a lot of advice and guidance. So audio went like C B, and A is not discussed. And was he good at managing too? That wasn't his strong point. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was often more interested in the academic side of things than filing reports. He was a bit of a dreamer. Hmm. Okay, he was a bit of a dreamer, not too ambitious. Bit of a dreamer, right? Okay, let's go on. Question number twenty-six. Paul was surprised to be given. Now something was given to Paul, and he was surprised. Whenever they use the word "surprised," opposite of "surprised" is "expected." What Paul was expecting, that will not be the answer. What Paul was not expecting, he will use the word "I was astonished," "I was surprised." I didn't expect that. Anything like that, surprising, and his accent, his tone of voice will also show surprise. What are the options? Computer to use, like you say, uh, as I was expecting a computer, so they gave me right. Or option B, little money to live on, and C, extension to his contract. Contract was three months. He gave extension to that. Right. Let's see what the right answer is. And did you have a contract? I had to stay for a minimum of three months. My parents were surprised when I asked to stay longer. Six months in the end, I was so happy there. And did anything on the administration side of things surprise you? What was the food and lodging like? Simple, but there was plenty to eat, and I only paid seven dollars a day for that, which was amazing, really. And they gave me all the equipment I needed, even a laptop. You didn't expect that then? No. Well, Even I look forward to hearing more. Laptop? You didn't expect that then? No. So, not A. B. Yeah. Me bolu A, tu bol B, tu bol C. Izzat bajegi class ki. Okay. The correct answer is B. How many of you written that? Well done. Excellent. Wrong answer. Correct answer is A.
Okay, I'll play it again. Please listen. And the audio goes like C B A. And did you have a contract? I had to stay for a minimum of three months. My parents were surprised when I asked to stay long. My parents were surprised. When you do arranged marriage, you are surprised. When you do love marriage, your parents are surprised. But the question is, Paul was surprised. Right? So for option C, this he said my parents were surprised. C is not the right answer. Now please come to option B. Yeah, six months in the end. I was so happy there. And did anything on the administration side of things surprise you? What was the food and lodging like? Simple, but there was plenty to eat, and I only paid seven dollars a day for. There was plenty to eat, and I only paid seven dollars. So little money to live on, but he was not surprised about that. Listen again, the next part. That which was amazing, really. Which was amazing, really, but. And they gave me all the equipment I needed, even a laptop. You didn't expect that then. No. Well, even a laptop. I look forward to hearing more. You didn't expect that then, no, right? So that is why A is the right answer. Computer to use for computer, they use the word laptop. Good. Now we have matching type of questions, and it's very simple. Uh, let's see how to do it. What does Paul decide about each of the following modules? By the way, uh, there's going to be the same talk in listening part one. There'll be one talk dialogue. Part two, usually there is one commentary, one person talks. And part three, there is going to be a, a dialogue. Sometimes there are three people involved. But throughout part three, the topic and the speakers will be same. They will not change. And in part four also, one speaker throughout the part. So, what does Paul decide about each of the following modules? Now, modules are questions and decision is A, B or C. Now tell me, by the way, when they give you half a minute to read the questions, will you read questions or will you read what does he decide? Decide. You know why? Questions are only modules and they will speak about them exactly the same way. For example, question number 27, gender studies in Latin America. You don't understand. I mean, you don't uh, get any piece of information from there. Question number 28, second language acquisition. It's not appropriate to read the question and sometimes they replace them. Sometimes options are in questions and questions are in options. So whatever gives you information, you will read that. Questions or options, whatever gives you information, you will read that. For example, in the questions, if they give you the names of the books and then there are options, will you read questions or options? Options. If in the options they give you the names of the movies, and then comments are in questions. Then what will you read? Comments. Okay. So decide wisely. They'll give you half minute. Now option A. He will do this. What are the other possible ways of saying I will do it? Most definitely I'll go for it. Or I have already decided to do it. Or I really want to go for that. I look forward to it. Anything like that. Uh, he will do it. If he will do it, answer is A. He might do this. For might, he can use the word maybe, perhaps, it is possible, probably, anything like that. Okay? This is what they want to check. He won't do it. Want means will not. Want means will not want is the contraction of will not he won't do it so for will not he'll say i'll not go for that uh, or i've not made up my mind for it i think i'll not go for it anything like that now question number 27 gender studies in latin america listen carefully and answer is going to be a b or c gender studies but now let's look at these modules you'll need to start thinking about which ones you'll definitely want to study the first one here is gender studies in Latin America. Mm. It looks at how gender analysis is reconfiguring civil society in Latin America. Women are increasingly occupying positions in government and in other elected leadership positions in Latin America. I think you'd find it interesting. If it was to do with people in the villages rather than those in the public sphere, I would. Okay. So? B. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Let's do clapping. Huh? No? Huh? I'll go to Okay? Correct answer is C. Correct answer is? I'm serious. Believe me. Kasam <laughs> se. Okay. C. 
see is the right answer he will not do this now listen listen one thing i tell you all three options a b c they are he 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 repeat after me he 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 like that okay so you will not listen to the lady whatever she is doing that's gibberish for you you will listen to paul and paul is pola you will listen to pola whatever he says at the end i mean the lady is saying this is this and this is that and this you will learn this and that whatever he says just you got to listen to that i'm playing it again but now let's look at these modules you'll need to start thinking about which ones you'll definitely want to study the first one here is gender studies in latin america mm. it looks at how gender analysis is reconfiguring civil society in latin america Women are increasingly occupying positions in government and in other elected leadership positions in Latin America. I think you'd find it interesting if it was to do with people in the villages rather if it was to do with people in the villages rather than right rather than those in the public sphere I would okay I would. agar aisa hota to main karta so he is not doing it yeah try to understand if it was about the people in the villages rather than this then i would then i would for example if you would have offered me 500 rupees then i would what does it mean you didn't offer me 500 and i i'm not going to do it okay so this is advanced level english which you have to understand i try to play the last but part again section f is to utilize existing but now let's look at these module sections in latin america last part. i think you'd find it interesting If it was to do with people in the villages rather than those in the public sphere I would. Okay. I would if it was about this he talked opposite. For example, we are going on a tour to Karachi would you like to come along? If it was a tour to Islamabad then I would. What does it mean? I'm not coming. Simple, yeah? We are arranging a tour to Murid K. Would you like to come? If it could be a tour to UK then I would. Right? So it means I'm not coming. Right? Very simple. Answer is C he will not do this. Question number 28 second language acquisition. What about second language acquisition? Do you think I'd find that useful? Well, you've had some practical experience in the field. I think it would be. I hadn't thought about that. I'll put that down as a definite then. Okay. I thought about that. I'd put that down as a definite then. I'd put that down as a definite then means he will do this. Now see this thing only a language speaker whose english level is up to inter, uh, up to advanced level or upper intermediate level only they can understand others will not be able to understand that anyways question number 29 indigenous women's lives good a is the right answer before the audio starts yahi karna udhar ja ke bina charon ka a likhte na ek to sahi ho jayega What about indigenous women's lives? That sounds appropriate. I thought so too, but I looked at last year's exam questions and that changed my mind. Uh, don't judge the value of the course on that. Maybe talk to some other students first and we can talk about it again later. Okay. Maybe talk to some other students first and then we'll talk about it later. So that is he might do this because he did not refuse, he did not accept. So he might do this. That is option B. Let's go on. Question number thirty: Portuguese language studies. Yes, and lastly, will you sign up for Portuguese lessons? My Spanish is good, so would I find that module easy? Mm, not necessarily. Some people find that Spanish interferes with learning Portuguese, getting the accent right too. It's quite different in a lot of ways. Well, I'd much sooner do something else then. All right. I will Now, do something do? else then. Not C. A. Very, very good, very good. Chor phadiya gaya. Now, correct answer is C. C. I will do something else. Please listen to this last part. Bhai, aap logo ko jaldi kis cheez ki hai? I am on question number thirty. Hey, next page, next page. Listen again. Make sure you find the right answer. Reason kya hai piche? Aap ye kehte hain sir, chalein eight baj ke hain, jaldi karein. Ghar bhi jana hai. जैसे 
getting the accent right too. It's quite different in a lot of ways. Well, I'd much sooner do something else then. All right. I will do something Now, else. What that means he's not going to do it, right? So answer is C. So whenever you practice, there is one thing we call it debriefing. Listen carefully. Debriefing is very important. Whenever you do IELTS listening, your one answer is right. Good. Well done. When your answer is wrong, you need to do debriefing. Why is my answer wrong? What the hell is he saying in the audio? And what the hell is written here that I cannot figure out? Once you figure out both things, then you will say ah. Or if you are Urdu speaking, Punjabi speaking, you'll say "acha." If you are pure Punjabi, you will abuse. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so then you'll find the right answer. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Now we have IELTS listening section three, and section three is notorious for multiple choice questions. In actual exam, by the time you flip from section two to section three, who? multiple choice okay so without multiple choice you can never get decent band score in ielts if you say oh god don't give me multiple choice in my actual exam give me sentence completion everywhere this is not going to happen so you need to find your way you need to develop your skill to deal with multiple choice questions and as i told you in multiple choice questions instead of looking for the right answer cross the wrong options and you will find the right answer let's see theater studies course now what's the course theater studies it's all about theater studies how to make dramas and all that right theater studies course question number 21 what helped rob now rob is not to rob someone it's the name see english names are so funny daku his name is daku his parents say daku edra like that okay <laughs> So Rob is his name, and Rob means to rob someone. Da ka dalna. But anyways, that's his name, so that's comfortable. All right. What helped Rob to prepare to play the character of a doctor? Now, Rob prepared the character of a doctor. Which thing helped him? Got it? He prepared. I mean, we're talking about drama and theater and all that. So switch your on your imagination. Whatever is possible in that context, that may come. Now, what helped Rob to prepare the play of uh, the character of Doctor? Option A: stories his grandfather told him. Now, I say, although my grandfather had told me so many stories about Doctor, but they didn't really help me. Something like that. Okay. So you just need to see tick or cross, true or false. Option B: times when he watched his grandfather working. he will say my grandfather was a doctor and uh, i used to go to his clinic and there he used to check the patients in front of me that really inspired me to something like that okay and option c way he imagined his grandfather at work now if he says well my grandfather had passed away when i was born but my father told me many stories about him so i imagined my grandfather working something like that okay so option a is stories and grandfather option b is watched grandfather and option c is imagined grandfather right and his grandfather must be a doctor that's why grandfather is here if he could be a welder why welder will come over here okay yeah You will hear a student called Rob, who is in the first year of a theatre studies course, talking to another student called Mia, who's in the fourth year of the same course. Hi, Rob. How's the course going? Oh, hi, Mia. Yeah, great. I can't believe the first term's nearly over. <laughs> I saw your group's performance last night at the student theatre. It was good. Really? Yeah. But now we have to write a report on the whole thing, an in-depth analysis. I don't know where to start. Like I have to write about the role I played, the doctor, how I developed the character. Well, what was your starting point? Uh, my grandfather was a doctor before he retired, and I just based it on him. Okay, but how?、Uh, did you talk to him about it? He must have all sorts of stories, but he never says much about his work, even now. He has a sort of authority, though.、Mm. So, how did you manage to capture that? I'd, 
I visualize what he must have been like in the past when he was sitting in his consulting room listening to his patients. Okay, so that's what you explain in your report. Right. I visualized exactly. That's right. And the stories were not about his doctoring and all that. So he visualized option C, where he imagined his grandfather at work. Imagined and visualized, they are synonyms. Question number 22. In the play's first scene, the boardroom of the board, sorry, boredom of village life was suggested by. Now, how did they suggest the boredom of village life? You know, village life is boring, like they suggested the boredom of village life without electricity, without Wi Fi, or anything like that. How did they? Option A repetition of words and phrases. Repetition of words and Phrases. This is how they mentioned the boredom of village life. Option B, scenery painted in dull colors. Boredom of village life, there was a scenery in dull colors. So scenery, dull colors. Option C, long pauses within conversations. So long pauses within conversations. Like when they were talking, there were long pauses. For example, what are you doing? Are you talking to me? Obviously, there is no one like, like that, okay? So let's see. Uh, in the play's first scene, the boredom of village life was suggested by option A, repetition of words, option B, scenery, dull colored, and option C, long pauses. Then there's the issue of atmosphere. So in the first scene, we needed to know how boring life was in the doctor's village in the 1950s. So when the curtain went up on the first scene in the waiting room, there was that long silence before anyone spoke. And then people kept saying the same thing over and over, like, cold, isn't it? Yes, and everyone wore grey and brown and just sat in a row. Yes, all those details of the production. Mm. They kept saying same thing again and again, over and over. It's cold, it's cold. Option A. Okay, now please write this code, CBA. In front of question number 21, write ABC. Question number 22, CBA. What is CBA? Order. Order. Oh, CAB. Okay, let's check it. Let's check it. Yeah, it's CAB, exactly. CAB, not CBA. So, listen. Then there's the issue of atmosphere. So, in the first scene, we needed to know how boring life was in the doctor's village in the 1950s. So, when the curtain went up on the first scene in the waiting room, there was that long silence. Okay, there was that long silence. Now, it was not the silence within the conversation. Long silence was in the beginning. So, long pauses within conversations, they did not mention conversations. Long silence when they started the play. So A, C is not the right answer. Now come to option A. Before anyone spoke. Before anyone spoke. Long silence before anyone spoke. So that silence was not within the conversations. Because silence within the conversations are pauses. Now let's go on. And then it was that long silence before anyone spoke. And then people kept saying the same thing over and over like cold, isn't it? Yeah. The people kept saying same thing over and over. Cold, isn't it? Cold, isn't it? Option A, repetition of words and what is the word? Cold. Phrase, isn't it? Cold, isn't it? Cold, isn't it? So, A is the right answer. Now listen to option B. Yes, and everyone wore grey and brown and just sat in a row. Yes, everyone wore Grey and brown. Now look at the option B. Scenery painted in dull colors. It's not the scenery. It's the people who wore dull color. Grey and brown are dull colors, but not scenery. Actually, people. So again, I tell you the wrong options out and you will find the right answer. You see? Now there is silence in the class. When we start with part one, everyone is happy. When we reach part three, then... Okay, question number 23. What has Rob learned about himself through working in a group? So Rob has learned something about himself. Apne baare mein kuch sikha. Working in a group. Option A. He likes to have clear guidelines. 
clear guidelines. Now, Rob has learned that he wants to have clear guidelines. For guidelines, they may use the word instructions, crystal clear instructions. Option B, he copes well with stress. Copes well with stress. So you can underline copes with stress or stress. Option C, he thinks he's a good leader. Good leader. So what has Rob learned about himself? He said, I realized I'm a good leader or I realized I can lead others. Then it is option C. And I have to analyze how I functioned in the group, what I found out about myself. I know I was so frustrated at times when we couldn't agree. Mm, yes. So did one person emerge as the leader? Sophia did. That was okay. She helped us work out exactly what to do for the production. And that made me feel better, I suppose. When you understood what needed doing? Yes. A or B or C? Okay, the right answer is A. He likes to have clear guidelines. Please write the code. It's BCA. And now listen to the audio once again. And I have to analyze how I functioned in the group, what I found out about myself. I know I was so frustrated at times when... I know I'm so frustrated at times. That's what he knows. So B is not the right answer. What's the question? The question is what has Rob learned? Frustration, anxiety or stress? He knows. So that is not the right answer. Now please come to option C. We couldn't agree. Mm, yes. So did one person emerge as the leader? Sophia did. Sophia did. So who was the leader? Sophia. You can say Sophia. All right. But actually Sophia. Sophia. Yeah. All right. It's another name. So he thinks he's a good leader. No. Who was the leader? Sophia. If you cross option B and C, you always find the right answer here. And that is he likes to have clear instructions. Now listen. That was okay. She helped us work out exactly what to do for the production. And that made me feel better, I suppose. When you understood what needed doing. Yes. When you understood what needed doing. What needed doing means guidelines. You understood means clear. So the right answer is A. All right, don't worry. You need to give your 100% even now. Many of you have signed out. Karo to see. Yeah, and they're just looking at me, looking here and there, nodding the head, okay, oh, like that. Please pay your full attention. Try to understand these things. Okay, don't sign out. You need to dive deeper now. Question number 24. To support the production, research material was used. Which described? Now, what do you mean by which? Research, research material. So, research material described. Now, what is it that research material described? That will be the right answer. Political developments, changing social attitudes, or economic transformations. <coughs> and Sophia did some research too. That was useful in developing our approach. Like what? Well, she found these articles from the 1950s about how relationships between children and their parents or between the public and people like bank managers or the police were shifting. Interesting. B, they didn't discuss other options. And for research material, they use the word articles. Right? Changing social attitudes. Politics, not discussed. E economic transformations, not discussed. Question number 20. Sometimes they don't discuss all the options. They discuss one. Sometimes they discuss two. Sometimes they discuss all three. Question number 25. What problem did the students overcome? Underline problem. Students overcome. In the final rehearsal. So they had a problem in the final rehearsal. They overcame that problem. One person forgetting their words. So was that the problem? One, you know sometimes there is a person who forgets his dialogue. So one person forgetting their words. Option B, equipment failure. So they had a problem in the final rehearsal. They overcame that. And for equipment, they can use the word camera, light, or anything like that. Okay, they will not use the word equipment. They will use the word camera. In the final rehearsal, we finally fixed our camera. In the final rehearsal, we finally found out the light setting and all that. And option C, injury of one character. Okay, something like that, okay? So what is it that they overcome? 
And did you have any practical problems to overcome? Well, in the final rehearsal, everything was going fine until the last scene. That's where the doctor's first patient appears on stage on his own. The one in the wheelchair. Yes. And he had this really long speech with the stage all dark except for one spotlight.、Mm. And then that stuck somehow. So it was shining on the wrong side of the stage. But anyway, we got that fixed, thank goodness. Yes, it was fine on the night. A, why a person forgetting their words? No. There was one spotlight. It was spotting in the wrong way or wrong direction. So equipment failure. Now, what is the equipment? Spotlight. Right, and it failed. Why? What is failure? It was in the other direction. Like person is here, and the spotlight was there. Okay. Okay, guys. Now we are going to learn how to deal with listening section three questions twenty six to thirty. In section three, there are two type of questions, and mostly it's multiple choice with matching. Right? Sometimes single multiple choice, otherwise double multiple choice and matching. These two question types are for part three, because there is a certain、uh, skill of yours that they check in part three. So that's why we've got this. Now, questions twenty six to thirty. First, we read the question: What action is needed for the following stages in doing the year abroad option? Now, underline which action is needed. Action. Right, for the following stages in doing year abroad option, underline year abroad option and action. Now you will match actions with option, and what's the option? Is the year abroad option. Now can you see we've got double trouble here? You know why? Because there is so much information in action options, and there is so much information in stages in doing the year abroad option. In this case, it's a good idea to read action or options first because for questions you will always find them in the audio. For example, question number twenty-six in the second year of the course in the audio they will talk about it very clearly. They will say, "Well, when the second year started, so you will find it easily." And by the way, questions are in order, so just first try to read action. Yes, if you find more time, because they will give you thirty seconds to read questions twenty six to thirty. So first read options, and then if you find more time, you can take a look at the questions as well. Action: be on time. What does it mean? Follow the deadline. Follow the time limit. Follow the timetable.、Uh, not be late. Don't be late, and all that. That is be on time. Option B: Get a letter of recommendation. Underline letter, letter and recommendation. And option A: On time. Option C: Plan for the final year. Underline plan final year. When you read, you need to just do it quickly. Question booklet will not be marked or checked by anybody. You can write anything on it. It's all allowed. <coughs> option D: Make sure in instruction,、uh, sorry, institutions focus is relevant. So. Make sure institutions focus relevant means institution is focusing on what you want to study. Option E, show ability in theater studies. So show ability, and it's same about theater study. You know, in each part, topic is same. In part one, topic is same. Part two, topic is same. There is the continuation of that talk. Now this talk is again about theater studies. So show ability. Uh, for that, they can use the word. You have to prove yourself. You got to demonstrate your skill. Show ability means demonstrate your skill. Option F: Make travel arrangements and bookings. What does that mean? Book your ticket in advance, right? Or passport or visa and all that. And option G: Ask for help. Ask help. That's it. Now, question number twenty-six. In the second year of the course, what action you should take in the second year? Do you need to book in advance? Ask for help. Be on time. Letter of recommendation and all that. This hand should follow the questions. Like put this finger on question number twenty-six, and this hand will move between the options A to G, and then you will find the right answer. But while you're here, Mia, I wanted to ask you about the year abroad option. Would you recommend doing that? Yes, definitely. It's a fantastic chance to study in another country for a year. I think I'd like to do it, but it looks very competitive. 
There's only a limited number of places. Yes. So, next year, when you're in the second year of the course, you need to work really hard in all your theatre studies modules. Only students with good marks get places. You have to prove that you know your subject really well. Right. You have to prove <coughs> that you know your subject very well. That is option E, show ability in. And for theatre studies, they use the word subject. And you have to prove that you know your subject well means show ability in theatre studies. E is the right answer. Question number 27, when first choosing where to go? When first choosing where to go, which country to go to and all that? So how did you choose where to go? Well, I decided I wanted a program that would fit in with what I wanted to do after I graduate. So I looked for a university with emphasis on acting rather than directing, for example. It depends on you. I looked for university that acting rather than directing. So make sure institution's focus is relevant. For institution, they use the word university. And for focus, they use the word acting rather than directing and all that. So D is the right answer for question number 27. Question number 28, when sending in your choice, your choice of subjects. So when you send your choice of subjects, what is it that you need to consider? Action. Then about six months before you go, you have to email the scheme coordinator with your top three choices. I had a friend who missed the deadline and didn't get her first choice. So you do need to get a move on at that stage. You'll find that certain places are very popular I with everyone. I had a friend who missed the deadline and all that. So it means you don't need the dead, don't miss the deadline. And that is option A, B on time. Good job. Question number 29, when writing your personal statement, what action you need to take? And don't you have to write a personal statement at that stage? Yes. Right. I'll get some of the final year students to give me some tips. Maybe see if I can read what they wrote. I think that's a very good idea. Hmm. I don't mind showing you what I did. Right, final year students. That is G, ask for help. Very good. I play this one again. Some of you are still confused. And don't you have to write a personal statement at that stage? Yes. Right. I'll get some of the final year students to give me some tips. Maybe see if... I'll get some final year students to give me some tips. Ask for help. That is G. And question number 30, when doing the year abroad, what action? Yes, yes, they, they must be trapped. Because, you know, options are more than the questions. So when options are more, they try to trap you. And while you're abroad, don't make the mistake I made. I got so involved, I forgot all about making arrangements for when I came back here for the final year. Make sure you stay in touch so they know your choices for the optional modules. Making you don't want to miss out doing your preferred specialisms. When I came right. back here for the final year, which option? F. It's not F. That is travel arrangement and booking. C. I play it again. Listen now, please. And while you're abroad, don't make the mistake I made. I got so involved, I forgot all about making arrangements for when I came back here for the final year. Came back here for the final year. I forgot about that. That is option C. Plan for the final year. And by the way, if you write option F as the right answer, you'll be double confident. See, I have right answer. Arrangement, arrangement. So don't match words. Match phrases. Match ideas and then you'll be fine. Question number 30, C is the right answer. Okay.